here, put a nigga back to the wacky baby and give me this shit right now. Hello, my apocalyptic friends. This drunktastic one here. Today, I thought I'd show you my bloodied stealth build. Uh, I know a lot of y'all are familiar with bloody builds. Uh, some maybe some of y'all need a little help learning how to do it. It's uh, you know you gotta just get your cards just right and everything. So I'm gonna show you what I used. Maybe it'll help you. So I have one strength. 15 perception, 4 endurance, 3 charisma, 3 intelligence, 15 agility, and 15 luck. Uh, I had to put 1 in strength because you can't have 0, so I picked bandolier because I carry a lot of bullets. Uh, it's just what you gotta do. And uh, I leveled up my rifleman all the way because this is a rifleman build. All 3 of them are maxed out. And I put tank killer in there because it's uh, really good it just ignores armor and makes you do even more damage uh, and then of course I also maxed out the concentrated fire for the headshots and stuff so I can do max damage in VATS this is a VATS build really I mean it does good and the ironclad of course if you're going to run that low health is 20% health so you need all the protection that you can get so that's what you do and I tried fireproof and it wasn't near as good so I went to this uh, the tenderizer of course is a very great piece to have uh, as you can see it makes them take 10% more damage after you attack uh, and uh, nerd rage over there oh you keep all of these by the way uh, you don't want to just throw them away just keep them down there so you can replace them and do ammo and stuff nerd rage is a must uh, when you're below 20% health you get extra damage and you get extra damage resist and AP regen now this is the sneak stuff man I put the covert operative in there it's two and a half times the uh, damage for sneak attacks and then evasive which works really good uh, that's a real good one to have there Th three damage per every point or whatever uh, and uh, sneak man you, this this build and with this escape artist and everything you can literally walk right up on your enemies and just destroy them and they won't even know you're there adrenaline is kick ass and you'll see it in effect in a video after this whenever I get done explaining this it's uh, each time you do a kill it just multiplies up to 60 percent it's a really good thing to have uh, but the sneak does not work in like daily ops and stuff uh, bloody mess of course that's more damage bonus damage and uh, they fall into pieces and it's just fun to look at anyway better criticals 40% more damage which you, that's what I'm saying you, you want to use the, the the vats as much as you can in this serendipity uh, man it's uh, it works real good you dodge all kinds of you'll see your little man dodging and everything and it helps a lot I put that one on there's another one that this is each hit in vats has a chance to fill your crit menu the other one is each kill will or, or has a chance so this is better I think you get more opportunity to refill your crit starch genes because I'm mutated and you have to have mutations that really help with this build and I'll show you those here in a minute and you want them to stay on no matter what if you don't have that it will remove them and they are expensive uh, there's a the crit savvy which is real good uh, that way you only use part of your crit meter and end up in the legendary perks I have uh, this here ammo factory of course because you make bullets all the time and it's up to a hundred percent more rounds and man you can make a lot for a little bit and you put super duper on with it range sneak attack increased damage to target by 40 percent for 10 seconds and uh, that's uh, real good and take them up with the team enemies take 20 percent more damage when they attack you if you're on a team and I get attacked a lot in, in uh, instances and stuff uh, far-flung fireworks man this thing goes off 
way more than 16 percent I think and you'll see that in the video too here in a minute uh, but man it will sometimes it you kill one enemy and it'll kill everything around it for the lower levels with one one bullet you know uh, and uh, looking soon to go and unlock that dude right there to the right so uh, alright yeah so that's the cards part of it right there uh, let's uh, let's have a look at my mutations adrenal reaction it's uh, plus weapon damage at low HP all of these have negative effects you know max HP is down by 50 but you don't have to worry about that uh, as long as you stay in that 20% range strength minus 4 on the bird bones but you reduces your fall speed and that helps a lot because you can die real easy uh, carnivore doubles the benefits of meat and then the eagle eyes uh, gives you more perception which helps uh, and then uh, crit damage is plus 25% I mean it's just stacks the electrically charged I wish I'd have never put it on there your marsupials a must with the jump height and everything plus I got the rocket plus your carry weight goes up and when you take your strength off you don't have much uh, the speed demon that's awesome to have and you move around fast I know you've seen players run around like crazy on here and stuff yeah, they have their bad stuff you know that takes away from it but you know it's it's worth having you know they uh, really help you out in uh, the whole game you know so uh, let's uh, also take a look at the armor uh, let's see here let's look at the armor that I'm using uh, let's go over here okay uh, I'm using, uh, I'm, I've got all Secret Service, and some of the stuff, some of the stars are not really that helpful, but it's because it's really hard to make this stuff. Uh, Chameleon, that's so I have my sneak stuff going on. Uh, blend with the environment while sneaking and not moving. 25% damage or disease resistance. Grants the ability to breathe underwater, I don't really care about that. Uh, but it was on there, and it was two good ones. So I used it, uh, and it's the unyielding, which gives three stats. Or uh, right here, this unyielding does. Unyielding jetpack. Look, gain up to plus three on all stats except for endurance when low health, and then I stay low health all the time. So the stuff is just stacked up, and plus 25 poison resistance. That's a good one to have when you're low health. Uh, now we got the. Uh, yeah this is a good one 75 percent chance to reduce damage by 15 percent while standing still because as a rifleman sometimes you'll be standing still you know shooting at something aiming through the scope it, it helps a lot uh, plus one intelligence and of course three stats to everything uh, this one is the uh, plus one endurance which helps uh, and then become harder to detect while sneaking so that added to it too uh, just lucked out with that one these are random when you build them I don't know if you've ever built any of this stuff but you get the legendary modules and it's just random crap uh, gain up three stats uh, increased action point refresh speed very important for uh, vats and become harder to detect while sneaking so like you're gonna see here in a minute I am I can literally walk up on anything and they don't even know I'm there I can sit there and sneak around and they never know I'm there and uh, look here's a good look at uh, my stats look at that, 28 perception because of the unyielding it's raising it up 27 to Jillian look of course it says it doesn't add anything to endurance but that's part of the armor that does add to the endurance there so you see how high my perception and stuff is and that's works really good because it's for your vats um, yeah really really good uh, bonus from that unyielding uh, of course you know you're not going to smack nothing with no strength and all that uh, but uh, your charisma is good enough that you can talk your way through a lot of things too <coughs> so uh, let's check out what I'm using here of course you can see all these guns here you know that uh, that uh, bloodied compensated goss I use for the queen uh, this gun is just perfect it hits harder than the uh, than the um, fixer. The fixer, you know, of course, I get more sneak front. But this one, 
I use less ammo so this is like an everyday build because 90% of the time you're not gonna be fighting the queen or some huge beast or something you're gonna be leveling up or something uh, check this out. This is just an instance of this adrenaline. Watch. I mean, just look how fast. One shot and everything. The, the scorched is nothing. Uh, I, oh, this toxic goo right here. You need to pick some of that up. That keeps your radiation. See how far it is there. Look how I just walked right past him. He didn't even know. Like, just walk right by him. Watch, I'll walk right up behind this other one. Nothing. No reaction. Shoot him in the head. He still doesn't react. Uh, I mean, that's the the sneak is just really good on this. Now, it does, like I said, it does not work in the uh, daily ops and stuff. So, uh, well, soon they're doing a patch that hopefully it'll help with. But look, thousand twelve one shotted, one shot in super mutants. I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, but I mean, look, walk right on. now watch right here. In a second, you'll see how close. You can just walk right up on a dog. I didn't even see the dog. And then there he is. Boom. But yeah, I mean, that's, uh, look at that. Let me two. Three shots. Killed a three star. Well, thanks for watching. I hope it helped. Yeah, y'all have a good day. Peace and love, man.